Hi, and welcome to another lesson. In this lesson, we're going to look at inequalities with decimal division. Before we start, let's review what an inequality is. An inequality is a mathematical statement that uses either the greater than or the less than symbol. So for example, five is greater than three, or two is less than four. Now in some of these problems, we may not end up with inequalities, but an equality, which means it has an equal sign. So that would be something where both sides are the same. Five is equal to five. Let's go ahead and start with the first problem on the screen. 8.1 divided by 1.8 is greater than, less than, or equal to 1.6. Now, we can often do some estimating to get our answer. So let's try that first before we do the division to see if that is going to be helpful here. So 8.1 is close to 8 divided by 1.8 is close to 2. So 8 divided by 2 would be equal to 4. Now, we're going to be dividing not by 2, but by 1.8. So that means that 1.8 would go into 8 more than 4 times. It's a smaller number than 2, so it's going to go into that 8 more than four times. Now we're actually divided in, dividing into 8.1, but 8.1 is close enough to four, and in fact it's bigger than eight. So we can still safely assume that we're going to be getting some number here that is bigger than four. Let's go ahead and try out that answer. So it should be greater than greater than because that is going to be something bigger than 4 and 4 is greater than 1.6. So let's try that. There we go. 1.8 divided by 3.6. Now this is an interesting one where we have a smaller number being divided by a larger number. Anytime we have a smaller number divided by a larger number, we are going to get something, some number, which we'll call n, which is less than 1. Our number is always going to be less than 1. So for example, if we just kind of estimate here, if this were 2 and this were 4, well 2 divided by 4 is equal to 0.5 or 1 half, a number less than 1. So 2.4 is clearly not less than 1, so we really don't need to do this division at all. We know that it is going to be less than this 2.4 because it's going to be less than 1. So let's go ahead and close our scratch pad and choose less than, and there we go. 2.4 divided by 4.8 is less than, equal to, or greater than 3. Well, again, we have a smaller number, 2.4, being divided by a larger number, 4.8. And what did we say was the case when we have a smaller number divided by a larger number? We always get something less than 1. So this is going to come out to be 0. Something. It's going to be a number less than 1. That is going to absolutely be less than 3. Whatever that number actually ends up being, because it's less than 1, we know that it's less than 3. So let's go ahead again, close our scratch pad, and choose less than. All right, 9.3 divided by 3 is less than, greater than, or equal to 1.1. Well, I can estimate here 9 divided by 3, that would equal 3. So if this equals 
something around three, three is definitely larger than, greater than 1.1. And as a matter of fact, we have a number that's bigger than nine being divided by three. So it's actually going to be something a little bit larger than three. Let's go ahead and just divide just to prove that we're doing this correctly. So 9.3 divided by 3. The first thing we do if there is a decimal in our dividend is we bring it up. 3 goes into 9 exactly 3 times. 3 goes into 3 once. That goes in exactly 3 or exactly 1 time, leaving us with no remainder. So sure enough, this right here is equal to 3.1, which is most definitely greater than 1.1. So we'll close our scratch pad and choose greater than. 6 divided by 2.5 equals 1.7. So this is an interesting problem because 2.5 is exactly between 2 and 3. And 6 can be divided by both 2 and 3. So we can estimate this answer really easily. Let's do this. 6 divided by, let's start with 2. So 6 divided by 2 would be 3. And 6 divided by 3 would be 2. So 2.5 is exactly between 3 and 2. So that means that our answer is going to be something exactly between 3 and 2. So it's going to be 2 point something. And we don't know exactly what that is right now, but we know for sure that it's going to be bigger than 1.7. It's going to be greater than 1.7. Again, let's just really quickly divide. Let's find out what it actually is. 6 divided by 2.5. Now remember when there's a decimal in our divisor, we move it to the end. So this is 25 and we have to take the decimal, which would be after the 6, and we have to move it the same number of places. So we move it one space and add a 0. So the problem actually becomes 60 divided by 25. Well, 25 goes into 60 twice. We multiply, we get 50, we subtract, we get 100. Oh, we forgot to bring that decimal up. That's always the first thing that we should do. And 25 goes into 100 exactly four times. So 2.4, whoops, that's kind of a crazy looking four. 2.4 is most definitely greater than 1.7. So let's go ahead and choose greater than. Okay, 1.6 divided by 3.2 compares how to 1. In other words, it's greater than, less than, or equal to 1. Well, again, this is one of those where we've got a smaller number divided by a larger number. That's always going to be some number less than 1, so we know for sure that's a less than. 1.3 divided by 2.6, again, smaller number divided by larger number, that will definitely be smaller than 1. 1 1.9 is greater than 1, so this is a less than. 1.4 divided by 2.8. Okay, same thing again. Smaller number divided by larger number is going to be something smaller than 1. 1 is most definitely less than 2. Or something smaller than 1 is most definitely less than 2. Okay, 2.7 divided by 3. Okay, same thing again. This is smaller than this. So this is going to be something less than the number 1. Something less than the number 1 is most definitely less than 2.3. And we have one more of the same kind of thing. We have a smaller number divided by a larger number. So this is going to be something less than 1. Anything less than 1 is most definitely less than 1.8. We go to less than, and there we go. Thanks for joining us in this lesson, and we'll see you in the next one.